So in this video, I want to show how you get more information what's happening when you do a call to AOP. So here we are going to get an Excel of the interactive grid and effectively there are two. So I downloaded the interactive grid, which is fine. And let's say I want to get more information what's happening. So I can click the debug here. And now when I click the button again, it's downloading and I can go to view debug. I can go to the Ajax plugin request. And here I see the AOP calls. So first is adding data to JSON and like you see what's happening. Then here's a call to the AOP server. You see how long every step took, like the data part uh, going to the server and the uh, overall time. Now I'm going to make a mistake. So I'll put in igrid21, which doesn't exist. When I click this button now, I get an error. When I look at view debug again, and I open this one, I see here that the region with the static ID is not found. But sometimes those errors are not descriptive enough and you want more information. So what you can do is instead of debug equal yes, you can set it to level six debug. So when you click Excel now, then uh, AOP will generate much more debug information. So when I scroll down now, I see here all the AOP details. So I know exactly what is happening behind the scenes. So if I scroll down, I'll see that here it finds in the region ID. This is an interactive grid. I see the, the SQL that's happening. Um, like you see all the different things that are happening. And here you see I'm trying to find static ID igrid to one and it cannot find it. So in case you want to download the debug, you click the view debug. In the view debug, you go to the details. And so just make sure you see the AOP detail ones. So they are here. So what you can do is you can do actions, download, and you can just download to HTML. And when you contact AOP support, include that file.